In this video, I will show you how to use VoiceFlow. So VoiceFlow is basically a software that will help you build AI agents that you can add to your website, for example, to basically help your customers. So on their website here, under solutions, you can see their solutions are automate customer support, build an in-app co-pilot and improve conversation design. So this tool is very helpful if you want to basically automate your customer support. And I'll show you exactly how you can do this. So first, what we're going to do is click on start building it's free right here on the voiceflow.com website from there we will get to a sign up page where we can simply go and create our account by entering our details or signing up with google or facebook i will use google then once you have signed up just go and click on get started and now they will ask what are you building so here either choose agency customer support internal automation lead capture or other so if you're not sure just make your best guess and you can always create something else later now for this example i will go with customer support then we'll ask how big is your team i'll select just me then are you working with developers i'll go with no and then how did you hear about us so then after filling this in click continue and then to finalize your sign up just go and give your workspace a name and optionally you can also drop a workspace icon so then you actually get to the builder right here where you can actually start building a workflow so if you zoom out a little bit, you will basically see a tutorial right here where they explain how it works basically using one of the workflows. So you will always have this starting point and then it will say welcome. And what you see right here is basically what will be sent by the chatbot. So first, hello, then welcome to your first assistant. I'm an AI assistant powered by your knowledge base. Then ask me anything. So then you can choose ask ChatGPT a question or see a complex workflow. Now, if it is see a complex workflow for example then it will go to submit a ticket if it is ask ChatGPT a question then it will go to the capture question right here then it will go to the respond with AI etc so if you want to test it just click run in the top right and then here you can click on run test and then you'll basically see that it will send all of this then you can choose what you want to do for example if you go with ask ChatGPT a question then you will be able to actually ask any question right here however if you click on the other option it will actually take us to a complex workflow which is what i want to show you next so if you click see a complex workflow you will then see this right here so let's again zoom out a little bit so now you will see this is a more complex workflow so this one is when you submit a ticket it will basically first save the email so it will ask what is your email and then it will capture the email then it moves on to this part then this part and you can see it can even go back to the user issue again and you can send the ticket to zendesk so you can actually integrate with a bunch of different platforms to actually do the customer support and you can have a bunch of pre-answered questions basically so you can have for example some faqs and then if one of those faqs is their question then you can have a pre-built answer to show them and then you can say does this fix your problem yes or no and if no then you can actually send them to zendesk for example or wherever else you want to answer the actual customer support tickets so what we're going to do now is click workflows and then click new workflow now here enter the workflow name for example customer support so now if you go and click create workflow we now have this new workflow now the very first thing that you always need to do is to select an intent so here click select trigger intent and then you have some intent so an intent can be yes no none or submit a ticket but you can also create a new one now for example i'll go with submit a ticket so when somebody clicks submit a ticket then they will be taken to this right here so now what you can do is select the next step so just hold your cursor over this and then just drag it over to where you want it to be so for example here and then you can choose what you want the step to be so for example talk and then text so now you can enter a text that will be said to them once they actually submit a ticket so for example i will say do you have a question and then what you can also do is here click ai generate and then for example generate one variant and then it will generate one variant where it will actually be similar to this but perhaps it will be improved so if you want to use this one what you can do is just go ahead and delete the first one by clicking on this minus right here and then it will be do you need assistance now here we want to have multiple choices we want yes and no now it's pretty obvious it's 
if they do submit a ticket that they need assistance, but it's just for the example. So now what I have done is I have added the yes and no. Now how to do this, just go to listen right here, then go with buttons or choice, and then just drag that in, and then you will have a choice, and then you can simply enter for example yes and no, and then if you run a test, you will see do you need assistance, yes or no, then if they click yes, nothing happens yet. So now what you want to do is create a path for both yes and no. So first for yes it goes here and let's say that we want to do talk text right there and then for no we want to go this way and if they don't need assistance then for example I want to end it so I'll go to logic right here and then here click on end so then this one ends right here and now here if they do need assistance then it moves on to the next step so the next step could be for example do you have any of these questions so then you can enter that right here so I tap do you have any of these questions and now what you can do is go to listen here then I'm going to click on buttons again and then I'll drag that in under here now here you have button one then you want to have multiple buttons so for example if I have three frequently asked questions then I can enter all of those right here here, and then the fourth option needs to be no so for example I entered Q1 so question 1 2 3 or no so do you have any of these questions and then you can enter those questions here and then basically what you want is for example if they have question 1 then you want to lead them where that question will be answered so then you can just drag it over here and then for example do talk text and then answer one here and then go ahead and enter that then question 2 you want to have text again and then answer number two and of course you can also add in images in order to actually support what you're saying here so if you want to add multiple stuff you can go to talk here and then image and just drag it in with this so then you can simply upload an image or paste a link and basically like this you can just go and build this out you can also use AI so response AI for example now you can use the data source and what you can actually do is train this data source so if you go to knowledge base then it will actually be answering from the knowledge base so you can train this AI in order to help someone for example if to answer how much does this and this cost then you can have trained this AI based on your website and then it will simply answer this costs this much so that's very helpful and you can also just use the AI model so for example GPT 3.5 turbo or any of the other ones that you see right here now if you want to delete anything you can just right click on it and then click delete so now if it is no then you want to for example lead it to the AI and go to response AI so then you could say what do you want help with and then they can simply enter the question now before we do that we actually want to have an question so what we're gonna do is add text right here above this and then here you can say what do you want help with and then for example I'll generate one variant using AI and I'll actually use that one so I'll remove this first one again and then here you can enter a generative prompt so now if we go ahead and test this entire system by going to the beginning here where you submit a ticket then again it will start with do you need assistant yes or no now if you select no it ends so I'll go with yes then do you have any of these questions then you can enter question one question two question three or no now if they are longer questions and not short like this then i would go with the other options so not with the buttons but with the other one i don't remember what it's called let's see it's choice right here so then you can actually write some longer questions but i'll just keep going from here so for example i'll go with no because then it will actually take us to this right here now you can see it doesn't work right now so that's because the AI has not been set up correctly so it doesn't yet ask what assistance do you need so I'm just gonna move this right here and then disconnect this one and then just connect the no to this block and then this to this one and then we actually want the people in the chatbot to be able to enter the prompt right here now here in the prompt section you can also choose to respond using a prompt or using memory or memory and prompt so for this example i'll go with memory and prompt now here what we are going to do is in this block we are first in listen going to capture the actual question that they have so here the user can enter a reply and then basically it will ask what assistance do you need so i'll just start from here it will ask what assistance do you need and then here you can start typing and then that will be sent now it doesn't lead to this yet so what we're going to do is connect this answer right here to the generative prompt and now if we run this for example seven places to visit in new york and then if we hit send it will now take them to the generative prompt right here 
And now you can see that AI actually responds, so Statue of Liberty, Central Park, etc. So this is now the AI response, now it ends right here because we don't have anything after this. But what you can do for example is lead this to logic and then end. But you can also of course for example say does this answer your question or something like that. So I'll show you this one more time right here. By the way if you want to move around what you can do is here in the left click move and then you can go with mouse if you're not using a trackpad. So let's submit a ticket, then click yes I do need assistance, then I don't have any of these questions, although you can say yes and then it will take them to the answers, then what assistance do you need, and then I would recommend adding something like type your question here, so you can do that by just dragging in some more talk and then text in between this, so then say type your question here, but for this example I'll just leave that. And then I'll paste in the same thing here and then click send and then it will actually have the generative prompt. Now this prompt may take a little bit of time and you can see this one is actually too long so it stops right here. So if you want to fix this you can go into the prompt right here then go to prompt settings and then here just increase the max amount of tokens. So if you increase this and just do this again now then it should write a full answer and not cut it off halfway. So I'll just enter this right here again 7 places to visit in New York and now you can see that it does write the entire thing right here. Now there are some more features that you can go and explore. For example you can actually integrate with Zendesk and stuff like that. You can add any notes and comments to this if you're working on this actual chat or customer support thing with other people and you can just see everything that it offers right here and just go and experiment with this. But now you know the basics of how to use voice flow. So if this voice flow tutorial was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.